So we're back with a, another quick question one. Uh, this one's about the cascade. The question you sometimes get is, what actually is the cascade, the, the C in CSS? What does it actually do? How does it actually work? Truth is it's um, often mixed up with other things such as uh, specificity or selectors and so on. Sometimes when people talk about the rules of the cascade or this won't work with the way the cascade works, they're possibly confusing other things. Sometimes I've heard people thinking it's to do with the order in which HTML elements appear on a page or people have talked about kind of cascade rules would block something from happening. Essentially, it's just a straightforward thing that because of the file is passed from top to bottom, the rules apply as in that the, the last given rule is the one that will win out. So if you write a selector, then underneath you write another selector, it will just overwrite the previous one because the styles will cascade down from top to bottom. It's like um, <laughs> curling, you're lacking curling, which is those uh, sport where you slide the kind of flat Thing with the broom and so on. Like you're trying to get to the middle, but it doesn't necessarily mean that if you get to the middle, you win because of the person who goes last can just smash all the others out the way and you win. So sometimes in a simple selector situation, the, the rule that goes last will overwrite the one before and you might get confused about why that is. So sometimes the, the rule that wins really was just the last one applied rather than having any complex rules about what overwrote it and so on. There are a bunch of rules about how some things don't apply within the cascade. There's also types of things like the browser style sheets and the user style sheets and about the order in which ones have superiority. And that's really if you want to go in depth. But ultimately, when people talk about the cascade rules, it's just about uh, the sequential ordering of things and how things can overwrite over time. As I said, people quite often will mix this up with selectors and specificity, which I made a separate video for. But uh, that's all really on that one. Um, subscribe to the channel for some future videos, but that's all today. Thanks a lot.